here in this one, we are looking at, we're doing some degrees of freedom analysis here uh, for this problem. Uh, the problem basically states that there is an experiment that is conducted uh, for bacterial growth organisms and that require an environment which is uh, enriched with moisture. So humid air, basically. So the process, uh, there are some input uh, streams that will be coming into this reactor, uh, which we will draw in a minute. The, this reactor, uh, it's a bioreactor where air is being sent in and oxygen is, uh, we need uh, enriched oxygen. So this stream basically uh, has inputs. We are trying to evaporate water into it to get the enriched uh, water uh, enriched um, uh, with oxygen as well as moisture. So there are three streams that are coming in. One is the liquid water, which is coming in, um, and uh, let me write here, liquid water is coming in, and normal air is coming in into the process, and we are also sending in a little more oxygen here. So this oxygen, this, this stream that is coming out from this reactor would have air with oxygen enrichment and also moisture enrichment, humid air that is required for the process. So uh, we're trying to do the mass balance around this, around this uh, humidifier, so to speak. So what is given to us is that uh, liquid water is fed at 20 centimeter cube per minute, okay? So this is coming in, so it is given. And we're also given that air is coming in, and air obviously consists of 79% nitrogen and 21% oxygen, all right? Now, and it is also said that pure oxygen, which is this stream, is fed at a rate of one-fifth of this air. So let's, let's start labeling this. Let's say if we have N1 moles of air coming in and N2 moles of oxygen are coming in, but we don't need to specify N2 specifically because we know what N2 is. N2 is actually one-fifth of one-fifth of N1. So we can always put this as 0.2 of N1. Oxygen is coming in, right? So we know that. And let's say N2 moles of water is coming in and N3 moles of product enriched uh, or air enriched with oxygen and, and moisture are coming out. So we can, we can calculate these things actually and it is also uh, stated that the product gases that are coming out contain 1.5% moisture. It's moisture, all right? So that's what is given to us. So rest of the components here constitute uh, the nitrogen and oxygen. So there are two other constituents that are not given here. So we need to figure that out. So if we write this one, this is N3 moles and uh, what we know is 1.5%, 1.5 in 100. So if we look at the fraction, it'll be uh, 0 0.015 of this N3 would, uh, would be the moles of H2O coming out per mole of gas, per mole of total gas that is coming out. This is a percentage, per, you know, so that's what we know. And so the rest of it together would be 0.985, right? One minus 0 0.015 would be 0 0.985. And if we have Y of Y moles of oxygen coming in, uh, coming out rather, and uh, nitrogen coming out would be actually one minus this minus this, which is basically 0.985, one minus 0 0.015, minus y would be our N2, right? So this is, again, per mole, per mole of total air, enriched air that is flowing out. And here also we know that if this is N2, 
but we know because uh, the molecular weight is known, which is 18, we can calculate the number of moles that are going in also here. Okay, so let's take a look at and figure out what, how to calculate or how to get these things here, the, the N1, N2, N3. And in material balances, we need to see the species here. You know, how many, there are no reactions here. So uh, the number of unknowns and the number of knowns we have to match and number of unknowns are one, two, three here. And uh, so unknowns are three. And knowns here are by species balances and total number of moles balances we can get, actually. Uh, there is nitrogen, there is oxygen, and there is, uh, there is water uh, or steam, or water vapor. So we have three here. So it, there are three unknowns and three uh, knowns. We can, we can solve this. Our degrees of freedom is zero. So we can solve this problem. Let's, let's start how to solve. So the first thing that we can do is, first step that we can do is balance uh, or, or at least figure out this one because we know the flow rate and we know the molecular weight and we know the density of water, assuming that it is basically one gram per centimeter cube, we can calculate this. So let's do that. So we know the flow rate uh, or N2 is equal to, we can calculate that, N2 is equal to 20 centimeter cube of H2O per uh, minute is the flow rate, right? Per minute is the flow rate. And uh, we know that this is one gram per centimeter cube, the density, all right? One gram per centimeter cube, one gram of H2O per centimeter cube. This is the density. And uh, once we multiply this volume by density, we would get uh, we would get centimeter cube. So if we want to convert centimeter cube into uh, into uh, moles, we need molecular weight. So if we were to divide this one by molecular weight, or one gram mole would have 18 grams of H2O, right? So we can, we can um, uh, calculate now uh, the gram moles. So, so 20 times one divided by 18, that would come out to be 1.11 moles or gram moles of H2O per minute, right? So we figured out N2. Now we need to get N1 and N3. So let me erase this and uh, we can calculate So now we know. Would you like this to be a separate video? No, same. No, we can continue. It's the same. So now the second step to calculate would be uh, use in, we, we can calculate using uh, high water vapor balance. So this is another species that we can balance. So second step would be H2O balance. Total water vapor going in will be here, and water vapor is coming out here. So if we balance the stream, whatever is going in has to come out. So N2 is the flow rate in, which is moles of H2O per minute. Of course, we know this number, we already calculated, but this must be equal to, there is no other H2O going here or here, so this must be equal to the moisture that is coming out here, which is 
uh, which is actually N3 times 0 0.015, right? This is 0 0.0135 moles per mole, moles of H2O per mole of total gas, right? So now, if we have, we know this value, which is 1.11, we calculated 1.11 moles per minute. This is the flow rate, right? This is the flow rate. This is equal to N3 times 0 0.015. So we can calculate N3. N3 is equal to basically 1.11 divided by 0 0.015. That gives us 74.1 moles per minute. This is the flow rate. So this is the total flow rate, which we calculated to be 74.1 moles per minute. All right. And this we calculated to be 1.17, 1.11 moles per minute, right? So now we need to calculate N1, which is but we, we can do that by either nitrogen balance or oxygen balance, one of the two, uh, nitrogen balance. Let's do it with uh, one of those and figure out. So the third step would be using nitrogen balance, one species. So doing nitrogen balance here, use the screen again, nitrogen balance. So nitrogen balance, if we look at, nitrogen is not going in this stream, nitrogen is not there in this stream, nitrogen is going only in this stream. So N1 moles per minute if it is total gas going in times every mole will have 0.79 of nitrogen, moles of nitrogen per mole. So moles and moles can get canceled here. So we have moles of nitrogen flowing in per mole. So this must be on the left side, must be equal to the nitrogen that is going out here. Nitrogen that is going out here is actually, if we calculate N3 moles of flow rate, total flow rate per minute, all right, times 0 0.985 minus y would be your nitrogen here, right? Nitrogen moles of N2 per mole of total gas going up. So here also, if we were to cancel this, moles of, moles will, so moles of nitrogen going in must be equal to moles of nitrogen coming out. In this case, we know this already we know this already, we calculated here, and, uh, and, and one uh, is, we, we have figured that out. So basically, this will be here. We, we need to, we can figure this out actually, N1, actually we know N2 and N3. So let's, let's use one more equation here to figure this out, N1. So if we were to look at the total mole balance, N1 moles are going in, and here uh, there is N2 moles going in, and then N3 moles coming out. So if we do the total mole balance, this stream, this stream, this stream, this stream, so N1 plus, N1 is this stream, plus 0 
N1, which is oxygen here, plus N2, which is moles of water, must be equal to N3, right? Total mole balance. So this is total mole balance. So now we know this number, we know this, and we can calculate N1. So N1, so here it is 1.2 N1 is equal to, uh, oh sorry, plus 1.11 must be equal to N3, which is 74.1. So N1 we can calculate. N1 will come out to be 71. 74.1 minus this divided by 1.2, that will come out to be 60.8, right? 60.8, this would be uh, moles per minute. So now that we know N, N, this N1, what we can do is we can stick that N1 here and uh, 0 0.79 times 0 0.79 must be equal to N3, which is 74.1 times this, and we can calculate Y. We can calculate Y, all right? And uh, if we did that, just mathematical, you know, jugglery here, Y would come out to be uh, 0 0.337 moles of O2 per mole. So this one would be 0 0.337, uh, that will be moles per mole. And uh, we, and uh, N3 we have already calculated, N2 we have already calculated, N1 now we have that is equal to 60.8 moles per minute. So this is material balance around this. And this is, since there are no reactions taking place, by just doing species balance, we can get the flow rates.